We asked, you answered. We took a cheesy survey about places to celebrate National Grilled Cheese Day. Oh, it makes me hungry just thinking it about really it. Does. Lindsay <laughs> set out with an empty stomach and a critical mind today to taste test. She's live at Beyond Golf in La Vista. That's right, I am here with Chris, who's helping us build a sandwich, Nicole, who's the general manager. I'm gonna start kind of laying out the cheese, if you will, but tell me exactly what goes on it that makes it so delicious. So we do a free cheese. Uh, we do our secret house cheese spread, uh, four pieces of provolone cheese, and four pieces of Gouda cheese. Oh my gosh, I and love it. we also it. do some of our house mayo, uh, tomato, onion, and arugula. I love it. Well, Nicole, you're spot beyond golf out here in La Vista was one of several places that when we asked our Facebook friends and fans where we needed to check out you know yeah there's some obvious places around the metro we definitely checked a few of those out and then there were some surprises like beyond golf take a look that sizzling cheese, the crowning queso of what makes the classic sandwich oh so good. Little history for you, the grilled cheese sandwich originated in the 1920s when inexpensive sliced bread and American cheese became readily available. Thanks, Great Depression. Now, from Block 16 in downtown Omaha to another local's favorite, Kitchen Table, also downtown, Gourmet Gruyere, Jarlsberg, getting fancy with whatever cheese and bread combo is a menu staple. And of course, there were places we couldn't hit up today, but we wanted to still mention because a lot of people loved them, Twisted Fork, Downtown and Old Market. Of course, this one where we're at, Tom and She at 144th and Maple. They have all sorts of different concoctions, mac and cheese on a grilled cheese sandwich. How about this? Donut plus cheese, uh, yeah, getting a little sweet and a little savory. Don't mind if I do. Another spot that might surprise you, along with specializing in cheese, specializes in coffee. I, it surprised me. Um, you know, it's a. I think there's a lot of ways to do a grilled cheese wrong, and they, they're very consistent. At Cello Rondo, a coffee shop inside the Omaha Conservatory of Music near 70th nice. and Cass is run by Omaha vocal teacher and coffee buff Cody Jorgensen. It's the hidden gem for all things Gouda. Get it? <laughs> With three grilled cheese sandwiches on the menu to offer hungry parents and any kids pre or post lesson, this was the sandwich that had lots of people on social media raving. Let's see. Let's give it the gooey cheesy test. Let's see how it does. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That uh, looks good. <laughs> Sourdough, cheddar, Havarti, and cooking spray on the bread. That's it. Simple, but something Jorgensen says he's keeping that way, no matter if someone grills him to add more. I'm a little bit of a purist, and I don't want to make a melt. All right, so, okay, yeah, some people are purists, but, you know, I kind of like some extra veg on my cheese. That makes me still feel like I'm eating healthy. So here at Beyond Golf, uh, in addition to the cheese, look at that ooey gooey yumminess. They add arugula and some onions and is it tomatoes? Tomatoes. tomatoes. Chris Roma. is kind of Roma tomatoes and I guess that makes quite the big difference. Look at that. I could be a sandwich artist. I'm not going to say <laughs> where though. We don't want to pay them anything. So anyways, final product here. Uh, if you want to come, whether it's Beyond Golf or try some of the other places, put you, this to the taste test. I have a full list online of all the different spots, Jennifer and Jen, that people recommended for grilled cheese across the metro. Uh, and definitely want to say from the places we tried out today, they uh, definitely deliver. We are live in La Vista. I'll send it back to you. All right, thanks, Lindsay. 